What's going on everybody? Today's diecast review will be on a car that I've been looking for for quite some time. Um, as a Jeff Gordon fan, this is one of one of the cars to pretty much add to your collection with the success he has had at Daytona. And this car is of his 2004 Pepsi 400 win. And got it for a really good price considering on how much it goes for nowadays. Uh, usually this car would go for between $70 and $90 at most. But got it for half of that price. And came with a, a pretty good... Uh, pretty good stuff too. Uh, the guy that uh, gave me this car also threw in the promotion hat that um, that went along with the race, which was pretty cool. And so for the box right here, comes with uh, a slick cover. For those that don't know, this was how uh, the die cast came, and the outer part of this right here is for decoration. So. Got a few pictures of Jeff Gordon from the race. And on the other side, Victory Lane, the entire crew. Production run is of 3,396. And this is the ARC version. And here is the car itself. A very, very beautiful car. I uh, have the standard edition of this car, and so since he won the uh, the race, I've been looking for this car for quite some time now. Uh, considering the fact that I took a break from collecting 124s uh, when I was younger, and looking for this car, you know, I really wanted to add it into my collection, and finally did. And let's go over this puppy, shall we? So, for the main sponsor is Pepsi, Play for a Billion. It was a, a program that Pepsi had, and ultimately, I think it was if, I think it was if you were to win, or so, it was some promotion that they did, and I think whoever was with Jeff Gordon for the race. Like, he had, like, some sort of, um... Some sort of guest with him at the track, and if he were to win, I guess they would win a good significant amount of money. But anyways, let's go on with the, uh, the die cash view. Uh, got DuPont on both sides of the hood. Chevy Monte Carlo, 24. Uh, 20 years of Hendrick Motorsports. Since, uh, 2004 was their, uh... 20th year of celebration Down the side of the car got the old old contingency sponsors uh, NASCAR Nextel Cup Series Bud Pole Award EA Sports Waste Management 3M NBNA just to name a few Jeff Gordon on the A post B post Haas uh, 20 years of Hendrick and UGS PLM Don't know C post has Quaker State and Marrow.org. Down the side of the car, got the iconic yellow 24, DuPont, Pepsi, GMAC, and Motor Racing Outreach. And on the rear quarter panel, got Lays. Back bumper has Quaker State, DuPont, Automotive Finishes, Chevy 24, the deck lid. For every Jeff Gordon car, at least, it had DuPont, The Miracles of Science, for a good part of the uh, 2000 season, from like 2000 and, I think from 2000 till 2005, something like that. Anyways, quote from Robbie Noonan, right side, same as left. So, for race markings... Relatively, this is a dirty car. Uh, for Daytona, usually there would be a lot of rubber buildup and scuff marks. I mean, this car has it definitely, and a lot of tape, I should say, too. Um, got some 
markings here and there on the front bumper right here and then going up the uh, the hood got uh, tape right there for the hood pins to hold them in place got some uh, tape right there right above the nose of the car underneath the hood there we go underneath the hood you got Pepsi play for a billion and I guess no rubber buildup on underneath the hood. <laughs> Usually there would be, but I guess not. Anyways, down the side, got a lot of scuff marks right here. Like, I don't know what this is all about. Um, it might be. It might may not be. I don't know. Um, Gatorade being thrown at the car and whatnot, and just they decided to. Stain it up a little bit for the car, but overall, though, it looks pretty cool. And then, obviously, you got some letterings on the uh, the Goodyear's back bumper is pretty clean. And then, down this side, though, is relatively clean with some scuff marks here and there. Yeah, overall though, a pretty, pretty clean diecast for a Daytona race win. But definitely something to uh, pick up for your Jeff Gordon collection if you do collect Jeff Gordon diecast, and if you do collect Daytona uh, race win diecast in general. So thank you guys for watching. Hope you all enjoyed this video. Make sure you subscribe for more videos like this, and I hope to see you all for the next one.